With the release of the Toyota FT86, one inquiry we've been uh, starting to get is how people can get more camber in the front end of the car. We put the car on the wheel line, we found the factory had set it to basically zero camber. Um, the one way they'd made the car a bit more agile is by setting a little bit more toe out. It makes everyone you know, feel really excited and handling about the car, but once you push it to the limit, the car really starts to roll over itself in the front end, uh, and that's basically understeer. What we're excited about here at Whiteland is we actually have a solution uh, straight away for the BRZ, the FT86 and the Cyan FRS in, in regards to getting more camber out of the front end. If you come in a bit closer, we've actually got installed on this uh, Toyota FT86 our COM-C strut mounts. Now our strut mounts actually are offset. They're not adjustable like you'd, you'd typically see with a pillow ball mount that's on uh, a coilover. These mounts are designed with a high spec Group C uh, rubber material offset by about an inch so at the moment we've got it set back towards the inside of the car which basically max out as much camber and as much caster as we want now straight away that that's delivered a huge amount of handling benefit to the car cars a lot more um, I guess responsive at the limit on the corner um, and from that these mounts actually offer about a degree of adjustment so about a degree of neg camber uh, and then when you combine it with the camber bolts at the foot of the strut you can actually dial in less camber or more camber depending on how you're driving so if it's a daily driver you probably want to pull it back a little bit more but if you're really looking to get as much neg camber as you want you can get that adjustment through the camber bolt at the bottom so for more information on our camber solutions for the front end of the FT86, BRZ and Cyan FRS, head to our website at whiteline.com.au.